are multiple Emmy Award winners for their long-running hit TV series, South Park. They make their uh, awesome movies like South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, and Team America. Uh, they have a new musical opening on Broadway that is getting rave reviews. It's called The Book of Mormon. Here to talk about all of that, please welcome Trey Parker and Matt Stone. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Gosh, I'm, we're such giant fans of you guys. Thanks for wearing the shirt, Thanks by for the, the way. Thanks the shirt. It is oh, awesome. You're a good man. Uh, uh, I, I was going to I got to say, Team America, uh, I was so mad that you didn't get nominated for uh, any Oscars for music. So were we. That, I mean, that's some of the best. <laughs> the theme song alone, I'm So Ronery. I mean, they're phenomenal songs. I'm just mad at the Academy. Can you imagine if Trey had to get up and sing I'm So Ronery? I'd, yeah. be, <laughs> I'd be phenomenal. I just think you were gypped that year. Uh, but I think the next logical move to, in my head would be a Broadway musical. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've been wanting to, we've been forcing our way into musicals the entire time. I mean, from we did a movie in college called Cannibal the Musical, and uh, and that was sort of the first thing we did together. Yeah. And then um, then we made this movie Orgasmo that was supposed to be a musical, but they wouldn't let us put music in it. And then we should have made that a musical. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Such a bummer. That musical, no got, music. We finally got Paramount to do a South Park movie, and we're like, we're gonna make it a musical, and they're like, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. And, but we did that anyway. We did and you that. got nominated for an Oscar America. for that one. For, but yeah, but I lost to Phil Collins. Ah, oh, man. What, what, did you lose to in the air, ten, in the air no, tonight? No, I lost no. to You'll Be In My Heart. You'll Be In My Everybody, Heart. Everybody, you know that song. <laughs> Nobody knows that song, unfortunately. Uh, remember that song? No, I don't no, remember no. that song. I do remember Blame Canada, though. Right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so what, how did you go about just uh, going into getting making a musical? You just saw one that was funny. You go, we well, can do this. When we, we were actually in New York. Uh, having meetings uh, when we were in production about on Team America, and somebody told us there was this puppet musical on Broadway, Avenue Q. It was fantastic. It was great. So we went and saw it, and we loved it. And we went out with Bobby Lopez, who co-wrote it after the show. And he kind of like looks up, for some reason, he's a few years younger than me and Trey, and so he looks up to us like we're elder statesmen of the industry, and he goes, what should I do with my career, you guys? And we're like, well, what do you want to do? He goes, something about Mormons, like a musical about Mormons. And we were like, we love Mormons. Yeah, what? <laughs> It was like the only other person in the world who's into Mormons and musicals, yeah. you know. And so in that moment, we just kind of said, let's, 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 have, let's meet about this and let's try to come up with something. That was 2004. Yeah. So right. that was seven years ago. And we finally finished We, we it put a lot year. of hard work into it. Yeah, yeah we had actually easy worked just seven years on this. This is the hardest is... we've ever worked on anything, actually, yeah. in our yeah. lives. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's getting crazy. Rave reviews. Are you surprised at the, the reviews? I mean, everybody is saying this. It's phenomenal. They say it's hilarious. Uh, the songs are actually great songs. It's an actual great play. I'm like, are I'm you that surprised? <laughs> I just got Botox. I just got Botox. I just I look surprised about everything I say. Uh, no, but I mean, uh, were you surprised? I mean, I'm a yeah. little surprised. I mean, I mean, yeah, and it's it's really great. It is I mean, to be, it's gratifying to like work on something for so long and you finally put out in front of people and they get it. You know, it, it's, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, when someone gets the joke. Well, and the great yeah. part too is that we're actually getting some Mormons coming, and we can tell because we, there's parts of the show that really only a Mormon would get. <laughs> yeah. And and or, inside or jokes, Mormon or whatever, and so we're always back there at the back of the house while the show's going on, and you'll hear them like so there's a part where we quote Abinadi, and you hear yeah. the Mormons going, "Oh, that was Abinadi." That was Abinadi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Well, oh, they're Mormons over there." A Mormon there. prophet Abinadi. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would not. Get and we that quote reference. him. That's now how obscure it is. We go yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah. But are, are are they reacting well, good as well, Mormons? Yeah. Well, it's a pretty select group of Mormons that will actually even come to the show. So, but of those, they they seem to really like it. Yeah. That's wild. That's yeah. fantastic. And why, why Mormon? Are you just obsessed with Mormons? Yeah. Well, they're just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we grew up in Colorado, so we're kind of from Mormon country. You know, we knew Mormons growing up. And yeah, Mormons. Mormons and musicals seemed like about an inch away from each other. Yeah, they always right. kind of seemed like they're about to burst into song, you know, the way. And that's because I, I grew up really loving the classics, like Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals. And, and, yeah. and I always loved how happy and optimistic and they were. And I was like, oh, nobody's like that anymore, except for Mormons. <laughs> Wait a second. Mormons have got something. This is kind of awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so then you did it, and then you, you did preview it somewhere, or where did you, I guess here in New York, I guess. We did right? workshops yeah. for like five years. Um, and and we how just, come you didn't go with puppets? You went with humans in this one. 
Because yeah, that's Avenue a good Q question. Why didn't we do puppets? Yeah, puppets I guess suck. Team America, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah Team America almost killed us. We swore we'd never work with puppets again. <laughs> and, you know, and, and like the way a musical, the way the way it, this whole process is, it's a lot different than what we're normally used to, which is us two sitting in a room with computers and cutouts of Cartman and doing that. You know, this is it. You, you, you're really we're working with like a great cast of consummate artists yeah. and when you're writing for the stage you kind of need you, you're writing for certain people and like Josh Gad and Andrew Rannells who are in who play the two missionaries we they've become really part of the part they become part of the writing process you need that That's you know it's, it is it's very different than us two locked in a room together in LA like doing this by ourselves yeah you Can't actually have to get LA. feedback and change stuff we work with human beings yeah with yeah. actual human yeah. beings instead of paper yeah, yeah absolutely I guess so and you have the soundtrack and all this stuff as well we're actually recording the soundtrack this week. Yeah. Or something. Is that the way it works? I yeah. have no idea. Are you finding there's a bunch of rules like, will Broadway not let you say what you want to say? Is there a censor? No, it's, which no. that's what's crazy is for the first time we don't have any of that. Because on, on Comedy Central even we have, you know, their standards and practices. And with a movie you've got the MPAA. And with this, for the first time, we've just got a theater and we can pretty much do what we want. It's like uh, Train I rented a theater. And yeah. putting on a show. That's and there's so no, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's other than great breaking the law, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. if we got something, I guess we could do something hardcore enough to get the police after us. Or I don't something, think so. I mean, Spider Man, yeah. they're killing people. Yeah, I mean, people right. are <laughs> they're they're every yeah. night yeah. and they're not shutting it down. So yeah. I can't wait to see this. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about South Park, okay? Cool. Cool. The Book of Mormon, we'll be back. We'll train back and get back, you guys. Hey everybody, we're back with Matt Stone and Trey Parker, and the new Broadway musical is The Book of Mormon, and it's the hottest ticket around right now in New York City. If you come down here, check it out. Go to Restaurant Rue, the, the Theater District. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. great doing theater. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Do you dig it? Do you, do, have you? I mean, yeah. how long have you been here now in New York? It's so awesome to be in the same room as people laughing at the stuff. Yeah, that's true. Because we're just so used to, like, we get the stuff done, and then we're just go to bed. Yeah. And then we know, read on the internet next day, people go, oh, that was funny. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, but it was like, this is instant gratification. Yeah. It's and nice you also to know what jokes don't work. Yeah, yeah, right, when we cut them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or no, tweak them or do it. It's terrifying to be in the same room with a thousand people as you put on some of the stuff that's in the Book of Mormon the first time. Yeah. You're just like, oh, God, here it goes. Oh, God, here it goes. Oh, you know, man, and this one's going to tank, and then it doesn't. Yeah, but normally we have stuff tank all the time. We just don't know because we're at home and you're watching it at your home. Yeah, and there's no laugh track yeah. Uh, yeah, in South Park. Exactly. That you put on. So it, it's, uh, it, it's, been, it's been terrifying, but it's been pretty cool, too. I'm so it's psyched. Fun. I'm so, uh, I cannot wait to see this. It's like uh, the thing I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, and South Park is 15. Seasons? No, 15, 15 years. years. 15. How many seasons? It's like, probably. This is our 15 seasons. You know, one season is not like a reality show where you need to do a season. No, no, yeah. no. This is our 15 season. years. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Did you yeah. ever think? This yes. Yeah. You did. No, you knew it. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, we really thought we got, we got the. You know, we got a call that we got to do, si the, the Comedy Central picked up our little pilot, our show. Yeah. And they're like, they're going to order six episodes. We're like, that's so cool. We're going to make six of these. Wow. And now we're like, oh, when are we made now? 23 of them? <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. That, was it true? I, I always heard the story. I don't know if it's true that George Clooney got some short that you guys made, and he sent it around to everyone for a Christmas present, and that's how you got, guys got discovered? Yeah, I mean, he, he was, yes, he did. He sent out a bunch of tapes. We, we did a tape for a, a friend of ours named Brian Graydon, who's a t television executive, just to send out as a Christmas card, and he sent out, like, 40 of them, and I think one was probably to George Clooney, and this was back when you had, like, it was a VC. It was a half. It was a VCR tape. Yeah, VHS and tape. VHS tape. Yeah, that, I mean pre DVDs even, and yeah. people had to copy it tape to tape and I think send I've it seen around. It was like, it was like Jesus versus Santa Claus. Yeah, the Spirit of Christmas. But yeah. it was Spirit basically that's how it was caught. Was people like, oh, I saw this really funny thing here. You got to check it out. You got to check it out. And then they copy it on another VHS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so now you take it home. We'll show it's it to so you. Telling people YouTube these stories, now. we sound so old. It's unbelievable. Like you know, when we started, people had tapes. You know? <laughs> Isn't that VHS crazy? Right? We're growing up. But now you have SouthParkStudios.com. Uh, which is all the shows. You can watch all of the stuff on right, there. Yeah. And you're doing a contest now with Comedy Central, a fan contest, the top 15 episodes of all time. Yeah, picked uh, by the fans. Picked by the fans. Yeah, the fans say, yeah. Do you, any surprises, do you think? Or what, do you I, have any idea what they're going to choose? I have no idea what they're going to choose. Probably all the Terrence and Phillip episodes. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, probably, that's, I mean, seriously, you always think it's You don't like the, the Terrence and Phillips? You don't like them? No, well, we, we love, love, we love, love yeah, yeah. the fans. I, I don't think fans that would be in the If that's in the top 15, I'll be really psyched. Yeah. Oh, really? So fans out there, please vote for Terrence and Phillip. <laughs> no, it was great. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. I was trying to, everyone was trying to think of their favorite one. And just, it, I, think, I feel like you guys keep topping yourself every season where you're like, oh, but that thing was amazing. Oh, or, thank you. Well, you know, the great. Guitar thank Hero you. thing was, that was amazing. And that was like, but you just, it, it never slowed down your show. 
You never quite jumped the shark. We I mean, actually do work, contrary to Yeah, <laughs> you really do. Everyone always thought we just kind of like got high and went to work and we're like, uh, but I mean, Cartman, I don't, I don't know how many times, uh, I mean, you must hear it like crazy, but it feels like everybody has an impression of Cartman. Yeah, yes. so do I. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so do you. Of Cartman. Uh, you <laughs> actually do Cartman. Yes. Could you do a little Cartman for no. us? Oh, come on. And people are going to hear it. They love it. They live for it. They live for it. Just say, can you say, can you say this? Late night with Jimmy Fallon sex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate That's that. Thank you. <laughs> no. I'm it's sorry. hard to get him to do that. I'm sorry to make you do that. It's hard to get everyone him to really do that. wants you to do it. I appreciate that. Here's why I really am psyched that we're debuting on a show tonight. This is one of my favorite things ever. You put out an album with a buddy of yours from high school. Here it is. And, and it's, it's called Immature, a collection of love ballads for the 80s man. And, this only really came up because your producer was saying, you know, was it hard to write songs that were funny? And I'm like, so I've been doing that since I was 14. And he's like, oh, really? What, what was it? But I and want... now you've got the tape here. But I'm so excited. You've got to hear some of, the, some of the songs in this record. It's great. Um, <laughs> Dead Ballerina. Uh, I was you. <laughs> oh, you is the greatest. It was the thing you did for French. I know, did French. Really, it's it. great. I, God, I love it. Uh, um, you're not worth the dirt on the lint between my toes. Uh, uh, but there's one I really love. that's called uh, "I Spit on Your Love," and this is you and what's your buddy's friend? We gotta get David them. Goodman. David Goodman. You and David Goodman, and you passed these out in high school and sold them, or? Yeah, we recorded on a four-track recorder, <laughs> and we sold them for five dollars, and we made like five hundred bucks. So I quit my job at Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the, the manager, I told the manager of Pizza Hut because he wanted an exit interview. And he's like, why are you leaving Pizza Hut? <laughs> and I said, well, I, I think I got a career. I was like, we, we did this thing and I made $500 and he's listening to me. And, he, and I was like, and I want to go to music school. You know, I want to I, I do music. And he's like, sounds to me like you think you're too good for Pizza Hut. <laughs> There you go. That could have been a bonus track on the album. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm too good for Pizza Hut. Uh, but here is, we're going to, is this a national television debut of this song? Well, uh, no, don't play it. I, I want to put, no. <laughs> you guys have to hear this. This is, this is a track, this is from Parker and Goodman. I've done a really, this a is, lot of cool stuff. Uh, this is, <laughs> I was here's a debut of I Spit on Your Love. Just a keyboard, really. I'm so glad I didn't make it out when I was 16. <laughs> and you're gonna play the whole intro. I love the intro. Is that a slide whistle? I don't remember. I'm 16. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's well, just like a nice show still. So this is gonna be videos yeah. like a sun, sunset yeah. or sunrise. I've written a lot of really good songs, people. This is not one of them. I spit on your love. I spit on your love. 